Welcome to the royal court of Fairy Godmother Gaming World. I'm the scribe. If you are ready to win, remember to put on your magic feet compression socks, the equipment for winners and heroes. Pick a pair today. Uh, I actually, for animating um, pixels though, you would need sprite sheets for it. And that is, let's say if we want the character to walk left and right and up and down each picture so there's one picture and then there's another picture and won't be able to stop it but as she walks you can see like her legs stick out here's one picture and then as she's moving there's another picture but instead of just having it where her leg would be sticking out and she'd be sliding the button that you press will be alternating between these two pictures or however many pictures of the frame and animation that you have so that's two, that's two, that's two. So they kept it really simple, which is always really smart to do because you're gonna have other animations going on. Like for this one, you can see the background. The, even in the background animation, it's very slight, but depending the background, what they have, there'll be a little bit of varying color and some animation in there. Then you have the animation of the fire, animation of the flowers. Now. A lot of people think that doing the pixel work, animating, it has to have all these frames and so many in-betweens. You can get away with a lot more pixel games for animating, but because you can get away with it too, you can also run into a lot of problems where the pixel on the arm there might be an extra pixel there, so it looks almost like the arm's broken. So you want to be super careful on doing the outlines is the biggest thing from what I've noticed. We can see the outlines on Lavender. They're not just a solid color. So they're keeping up the aesthetic with the background as well as the characters as well. You want to make sure everything like fits really nice because if, let's say Lavender had a solid black outline she would stick out way too much she would look like she's not part of the world and we could already see that with her not wearing a mask and her hood up so you don't want to keep emphasizing if there's too much of an emphasis it's kind of like okay yeah we get it like come on so we want to like try not to overdo it either Oh, hello. Goodbye. Neat. I'm gonna go there. <laughs> A Jerry? Wow. <laughs> I love the names. a lot of so that's cool that it's this is casual but if it's still if you're still working too slow or taking your time seeing this stuff you can get attacked you can get hurt so it's still a turn-based game but it's fast enough where it's like if I'm not reacting fast enough as you can see I got hurt pretty bad with it so I want to go ahead and heal see if that happens let me save as well
faces and everything. He's just hanging out. He's just sleeping, and they're gonna smack him. Ooh, never mind. Cool, okay, you can just kind of walk past them. That's nice. Mostly, you can walk past them. <laughs> oh, I should have picked, uh, what is it? Carol? <laughs> right. I like the different styles and colors for them as well. So they're not all just the blue ghosts, or they're not all just, again, purple. They're all different. This one's, you know, sleeping purple, but when you hit it enough, as we saw in another, and then like right there, when it's red, it conveys a different emotion. It's angry at you. It's like, hey, I was just hanging out, and he's smacking me. So the sprite itself changes, not just color-wise, too. That's really fun. You can just hang out with docile. You can just walk past them. That's pretty fun. I'll leave him alone. He's just hanging out. Oh, wow. <laughs> Absolute. Ooh, I like that ghost leaf. That's pretty cool. Oh, wow. I'm really hurt. Ooh. Uh-oh. me oh my gosh even in the menu oh no <laughs> okay let's get a cookie That way too early. Oh, it completely misses. Oh, wow. <laughs>
Ooh, I like that. The sprites just getting angrier and the colors changing. We could even see the hue like pulsating from like really bright pink to a dull purple. That's really fun. Ooh, wow, that really bright red. Oh, so I'm curious. What if I just didn't kill anybody? Hmm. Uh oh. Boss battle time, all right. Oh wow, so this is really cool. We see all these um, effects of the turn-based game happening at once. So it makes it feel like it's like super fast. You have to keep up, you have to make sure you're reading it, you have to make sure you know and are familiar with a lot of these concepts. Like as fast as you can. Oh crud. Oof. Get her out, we should be good. From the really bright, fun music, purple, everything, suddenly it's just pitch black background. The song is low, it's kind of quiet, I think, I can't tell if it's minor or major, or majors in the music, that'd be a great one, great topic to go over for music, depending the mood for stuff, but there's not even like a text background sprite for it, there's no, it's just her and Timmy and then just the words that you have to read. Very, very nice touch. <laughs> 